The Honourable Judith Collins. Speaker. Well, order. Mr. Speaker. Order. Is it lovely of them? They're always cheering every time I stand up, Mr. Speaker. See, I think it's a lovely place to work here in Parliament, and um, and I think that the uh, right honourable Winston Peters, who's resumed his seat, made one true comment in that. He said, wherever he goes, he has a mirror. <laughs> and I think, I think, and he nods, and he nods to accept that. And, and some people would say, it's a bit, be a bit careful when you're crossing the road, Mr. Peters, with that mirror in front of your face. It may not work that well. Well, look, I thought we would talk about something important, so we're not going to talk about him. We're going to talk about the cost of living and the cost of living to New Zealanders. Because no matter what we want to talk about, and some people might want to talk about people with some sort of attention-seeking behaviours, what we're going to talk about is what matters. Let's have a talk, look at rental housing. We saw some issues today in rental housing from the Salvation Army. And the Salvation Army not known to be big supporters of the National Party or National Party governments. However, coming out today, coming out today with a long-term Labour Party um, activist representing the Salvation Army, saying that actually the rental housing market has got worse. In fact, what is the report that they're talking about? They're talking about that's called responding to the decline in private rental housing. Now, some people might think that's not very important. Well, I think it's very important. I know on this side of the House we believe it is. And every single announcement on rental housing from the Labour-led government, from Phil Twyford, has been about actually decreasing the number of private rental houses available. And the Salvation Army, barely, certainly not people connected to the National Party, have come out today and said that's absolutely right. What they're saying is, and what Statistics New Zealand have said, and what the MB, the Ministry for Business, Innovation and Employment, are saying, is that it's around $25 a week increase in the last year for a rental house under this government, this Labour-led government. They have actually overseen enormous cost increases. Let's have a look at petrol tax. Electric, like Papakura, that I represent, big issue for people there. Big issue for carpenters. Big issue for people working on building sites. Big issue for people who carry tools, who have to work from go from site to site during the day, they're not going to sit around waiting for public transport. You can't take your building tools on a public transport site. You can't do that. And what we've got is a government that turns their, we heard today, saying things like, oh, it's about $2 a week more. What a load of rubbish. What a total load of rubbish. The further out people live from, this, from the building sites or from the work sites, the more they pay. And most people who do not get the opportunity to have an electric vehicle. And let's just look about the talk about the electric vehicles for a moment. An appalling performance yet again from David Parker, representing the Minister of Energy and Resources. An appalling performance. He said, wind turbines are, go are so renewable. Well, actually wind is. The turbines themselves, not so much. Three tonnes of copper in every single wind turbine, all having to be taken out of the ground. Three tonnes of copper. Then you have the concrete. The concrete. Then you have the steel. Massive amounts of steel. And guess what? You need to have iron. Steel is made from iron and coal. Why is it coal? Why is it coal? Because it's carbonated steel, uh, carbonated iron. That's what steel is. So you've got wind, maybe well renewable, and certainly from that side of the house, it's very renewable. But, but the turbines themselves, not so much. And then there's the birds, the birds that they kill. So 4% of our electricity generation is from wind turbines at the moment. 63% from the hydro, the same dams that what was the Green Party or the Values Party was campaigning against in the 1970s, those hydro dams. We've got a government that is happy to sit by and let more coal be burnt so that, the, so that Jacinda Ardern can virtue signal on the world stage and say she doesn't want any more natural gas. We've got six years' supply of natural gas in this country. It's 16% 
explored and, and able to be guaranteed. We have 16 per cent of our electricity generation order, from natural order. gas. The member's time has expired. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. The Honourable Andrew Little. Uh, Mr. Speaker, well, for